Hello traders, Footy Trader here from myfootballtrading.com and in this video I'm looking at La Liga games and really um, the first video was longer, these next videos I'll try to make them short um, or at least shorter than the first one. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's have a look at the games. I know that you know that you know what's all what this is what this exercise is all about so really let's jump straight into the odds we have one game today which i won't be involved in it's athletic bilbao against el maria why i won't be involved because the odds reflect the reality in my opinion and this is 134 893 category 3 team against category 7 this is um uh, this is correct. So let's see. Cadiz and Girona 3.24, Girona 2.28. Okay. Real Madrid against Osasuna. We have 131.998. Mallorca against Valencia 2.51 and Valencia 3.18. Sevilla against Rayo Vallecano. Ah, interesting. One nine four twenty-two. Alaves against Betis. I, I think there will be many selections here. Two point eight, two point seven. Celta Vigo against Getafe. Two point zero six for Celta. It, this won't be a short video, I think. Four eleven for Getafe, and then we have Granada uh, at six point ninety five, and Barcelona without. Robert Lewandowski, 142. Yeah, Robert, Robert uh, Lewandowski uh, suffered an injury, an ankle, ankle injury. It will be, it won't be available for another month or so. So always need to account, take into account team news. So um, what else do we have? We have. Um, Atletico Madrid, Real Sociedad, yes, of course, and that's 191 against 442. And then I have why I don't see this game on the list. Ah, I do. Villarreal against Las Palmas, 164, uh, 538. Okay, so let's have a look. Atletico Madrid against Real Sociedad. Um, seems correct for me if we take into account that I have Atletico Madrid category 2 and Real Sociedad category 3 the odds are pretty much um, pretty much okay now um, Atletico Madrid was struggling recently um, uh, but they, they defeated Cadiz 3-2 and Feyenoord 3-2 in Champions League while uh, Real Sociedad is demolishing everyone. 3-0 Bilbao, 2-0 Salzburg, then earlier 1-0 against Valencia and 4-3 against Hetafe. Um, so you can argue that maybe Atletico Madrid odds should be higher, but uh, I'm not going, uh, I'm not gonna go against them uh, in, in this case, yeah. Uh, for me, Atletico Madrid is a better team than Real Sociedad, so so that's a, that's a no uh, there will be clearer opportunities on this list and here's the first one Cadiz number five and Girona number three in category three that is but uh, but not in the um, uh, but also in the table I mean Girona is third in the table they lost with that key game with Real Madrid 3-0 um, but uh, Cadiz is 12th and really struggling without a win in four games. Um, uh, this is this is just um, yeah. Um, uh, th this I cannot agree with. I'm adding it to to my watch list. Girona odds should be lower than 2.28. Um, now Celta Vigo better than Hetafe. I have it other way around um, in my on my list. And if we look closer again, just for information, Celta Vigo being 18th in the table, 
Uh, Hetafe is 11th, but you know, the difference is not that big, right? Celta Vigo, five points, Hetafe, nine points. Um, it's a question whether you want to argue with the market, right? And in this case, just go against Celta Vigo. Um, I, I'm not so sure. I mean, both teams are really struggling to win a game. Uh, so this can go either way. Uh, I'm not going to touch this one. Mallorca against Valencia. Now, this is even... Um, um, more interesting because Mallorca number six for me, Valencia number four, and, and then Mallorca a better team according to the market. Um, so, um, is there any justification for that? Mallorca, fifth, uh, sorry, 16th in the table with one win in eight games, uh, but Valencia ninth, and again, uh, the difference between those teams is three points. Uh, yeah, and, and also in the last games, three last games, either team couldn't secure a win. So, no, um, I'm not going to touch this. Yeah. Um, Alaves against Betis. And now this is, and now. We, we are doing this one step forward, but this is an exaggeration now, okay? Alaves, um, you know, uh, Alaves uh, being um, uh, 17th in the table with seven points and Betis Sevilla being seventh uh, and Betis defeating Valencia 3-0 in the last game. You, you you can't be saying that Betis is an even team. No, that's no, that's just no way. Athletic Bilbao Almeria. It's today. I'm not gonna be involved. Granada Barcelona. What impact it will have on? Um, uh... Sorry, guys. Had to pause the video there, um, but I'm back. So I resume this recording. Okay, Barcelona against Granada uh, is a no for me. You, it's difficult to assess the effect of Lewandowski's absence. So for now, I'm, I'm staying away. Real Madrid against Osasuna, 131. Um, it's, it's okay. Uh, number one against number five, by the way. Um, Villarreal against Las Palmas, also correct for me. Number four, number six, 164. And then we have Sevilla against Vallecano, which I want to have a closer look at because we have two teams. Um, it's a tricky one because um, I have them at the very moment in the same category. Sevilla is a better team in terms of what they achieved, right, um, um, in Europe over the years. <clears throat> but um, are they really capable of uh, uh, winning games, right? Um, they are 15th in the table. Um, they had a good run because they defeated Las Palmas 1-0. They drew Osasuna 0-0 and then they demolished Almeria 5-1 and fans were thinking that uh, it's all now back on the right tracks but then they lost with Barcelona 1-0. Uh, now Rayo Vallecano is, is drawing games after this win with Alaves that they just should have won. They drew against Villarreal 1-1, they drew against Cadiz 0-0, and they drew with Mallorca 2-2. So, um, hard, to, uh, hard to pick um, uh, here. Uh, for me, um, uh, it's, it, it's, it's really a, a tricky one. Um, it's it's really a tricky one. I will add it to the watch list. Um, potentially looking at laying Sevilla in this game, but um, it, it, 
the the chance of me actually doing that is is less than 50 percent really uh, but I'll have a look what happens. I will, I'll have a look at the team news as well and also what will happen in the market closer to the kickoff. Okay, so with that, we've covered La Liga. Uh, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And now I'll move on to Serie A in Italy. Okay, so stay tuned for that and bye-bye. <laughs>